Hey everyone, it's Amy with Pretty Presets, and one of our uh, group members was wondering just how to clone out the flyaway hairs. Sometimes this can be really hard, um, and I can see how it could be overwhelming and seem like a daunting task, because uh, she has a lot of flyaway hairs that go all the way around her hair here. But what's great about this photo and these flyaways is that she has the perfect backdrop here to clone this out. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to choose our clone brush here. Um, we're going to leave the feather right here for now and the opacity at 100. I pretty much always leave the opacity at 100. We're going to start up here and we're going to go down. Now what I want you to pay attention to is how far in I have my circle. A lot of times you'll have it out to here but for hair, you want to do it in because you want the ability to be able to move that section around to where it lines up with the hair just right. So we're going to come down about like this and make a nice straight line. And I'm flip this over here and turn it. I always want the sample to be on the same side as what I'm cloning because the light will be the same over here. Notice that over here we have some of these browns in here, but over here on this side we don't have as much. So we want to make sure that we're taking from the right area. So see how it came in like this? And it's going to make that new hair look nice and flat. So there behind that, that's our clone section we want to get rid of. So we're going to put that nice and flat around it. It's going to need another section here. So we're going to go up like that. And we definitely don't want her face being part of that. So we'll go up around here and bring it in just a little bit. I see a few little stragglers right there that I want to make sure are going to be covered. And we're going to take down again at this end. Okay. Now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make our brush a little bit bigger. Put it down here like that. That looks good. We can leave that spot there. I'm going to do this in here again. See how I am leaving that circle over in the head a little bit. And that is just mainly so we can be in control of how much of the head we can cover up. Okay, so now what you do here, this top part, is you want to make sure that you curve it just right so that it looks good. Okay, so I'll pull that out there and then I'm going to come over here. Okay, do the same thing over here. I know it looks like I'm covering up half of her head, but I'm really not because I always end up moving it. Okay, make it a little bit smaller now. A little one over here. Okay, there's still some over here. Okay, 
Um, it looks like we've got all that hair taken care of. You can see how we did it where it just goes all the way around. And your hair is still nice and intact and looks very good. Um, when it comes to the hair on her face, that's going to be a different matter. You can use the uh, the healing tool, and we'll see if we can get some of that. We can probably do some, but I wouldn't say all. We'll be able to get it all. This one's going to be a hard one to get it all. We are going to not worry about that one right now. on something I didn't need to click on. Almost done. This is another one of those really, really tricky spots. So I don't know if I'll be able to get all of it. Um, for this, all I'm using is the hill tool to kind of go over this. I am going to I'm going to stop there. As you can see, all these hairs around here are pretty good now. I'm going to close it out. We got most of the ones that were on her face and then all the ones that were around here. And this is the before and after. So you can see all these byways that were right here. And now they're all gone and it looks nice and clean. So that's all there is too to taking care of flyaways. Just a little bit of patience and making sure that you use um, smaller uh, sections to do your cloning with and that you're close to the head, close to the hair to actually uh, do it to make sure that you can get that cloning spot in a little bit further. So hope you learned something and you go out and create something pretty. Have a great day.